Hmm. So Taylor Swift's been quite big this summer with her Eras World Tour. I wonder if I'm too late to jump on her bandwagon. Nah, let's give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Manic laughter. Here it goes. Right, one thing that caught my eye a while back was that there's an English music retailer called Guitar Guitar. Can you guess what they sell, children? And they had a public poll of the best 20 guitarists of the last two decades. And when you open these things up to, to the people, you get rubbish, basically. Uh, and this is what they came back with. Uh, it was this, uh, this list here. I don't know if you can see this. And number eight was Taylor Swift, which I thought was interesting. I mean, this is completely Boaty Mac Boatface. So if you don't know about this, a few years back, the Royal Navy had a new Arctic Explorer ship they wanted to christen, wanted to name, and they opened it up to a public vote where the people could suggest the name and then everybody else would vote on it. And the winner by a landslide was Boaty Mac Boatface. And we've been using that as an example of don't ask the public what to do. So Boaty Mac Boatface, I think in the end they renamed it something like HMS Inscrutable or something but they had to name one of the probe submersibles or something Boaty Mac Boatface just to go through with it so yeah proof that A British public are hilarious and B don't trust them <laughs> don't trust them to name anything but anyway they've named in this list they've named Taylor Swift up there it's interesting is there's loads of people here that aren't from the last 20 years the last 20 years is since 2000 radiohead i'm sure both of those were around in the 90s motley crew are more than 20 years surely i don't know this is just rubbish but it got me thinking how good is taylor so i've seen footage of her with a guitar since she was really quite young but how good is she well let's take a look i found this piece of footage on the on tinternet on the world wide web of her best bits so let's go look and see how good she is. I'll be talking over this and stopping this quite a bit, I think, to make comments. Right, so two things, that's quite a stiff action, quite stilted, and she's moving her entire arm from the wrist. I mean, she's picking, which is quite interesting, but that whole move from the arm causes problems, move from the wrist, like you're trying to flick something off something else. I notice here she's got a capo, and I think the only reason she's got that capo, I mean, that's an F there, I think. Can't quite tell it's so blurry. But I think the only reason she's got that capo is that the frets up here might be just a bit too far apart for her fingers, which, okay, I've taken the mickey, but that is actually quite um, an okay thing to do. And something, lots of guitar, lots of reasons for people to use a capo or a capo or however the hell these things are supposedly pronounced. All right, let's see what else we've got here. It's quite hard to sing, strum at the same time. It's especially quite hard to sing and pick, but not impossible. If you've been doing it since you're a teenager, that country. Oh, she is using those top frets there. Oh, that was it. Full string. These are all quite short. Nice riff. Yeah, that sounds great. But... Yeah, that would be better if that's the thing to play. <laughs> 12 string, loads and loads of effects in it. I've noticed lots of these, her pinky and her ring finger are on the bottom two strings. Wow, how high is that? How high is that? Uh, um, Capo. Same picking pattern, different chords. Pinky first finger not moving. I mean, these things aren't simple. She's not a beginner. But eighth best guitarist last 20 years. Where's the shredding? Where's the sweet picking? Where's the solos? Where's the electric guitar? That was it. I was waiting for that to get good. Sort of thing that, yeah, with a bit of reburned dirt sounds good on any guitar. So you, so you can play Kurt Cobain covers. C, G, Pinky, D, 
He's the first call to learn. <laughs> but the capo is, and now Wonderwall. <laughs> See a lot. This is because these are really expensive guitars. Some really expensive guitars sound different. Ah, uh, bit of a CG. Oh, okay. So notice her. Notice her pointer finger wasn't moving. And that was it. On abrupt ending. I was just saying. Notice her. Right. So down here, where her hand is. Oh, look at that. She's supporting one finger with another there. Because those strings are hard to hold down. Actually, it's an acoustic. They're probably nasty big bronze strings. I can't bear acoustics. I play acoustic on six strings because it's thinner strings and easier. As she moves, she says, move chords and the pointy finger hasn't moved. So there's a lot of not moving as fingers. Let me give you an example. All right, worst guitar to pick. This guitar is a brilliant rock machine, but as an acoustic. <laughs> sounds awful right so let's take one of her songs which is all too well it uses chords cg am which are part of what's called the axis of awesome which are used in lots and lots of songs the axis of awesome is the pro is the progression one five six four one five six four which in the key of c major is the chord C, G, A minor, F. But if you watch her on anything, play them, she's not playing those chords. She's playing variants of them, which are C, normal C, C, G, add 11, A minor, and then F sus suspended two. So they are C, suspended too. Lovely pretty chords. Although well, not on this guitar for some reason. But as I was playing them there, did you did you notice anything? I didn't even notice, but that finger doesn't move all the way through it. And I think she's picked those chords on purpose to make that easier to change. And then she's also made it easy because when you're on that um, F sus2, when you're moving back to the C, all you're doing is putting that finger on and lifting up the other finger a little. So it goes like this. Nice and simple, but the whole thing I think it's designed for simplicity. Now there is a part of me that says, why would you make it, why would you purposely make it difficult for yourself? But there you go. So sometimes she doesn't play the go-to things. Maybe. Oh wow, is she, is she the eighth best guitarist? <laughs> No, she's better than your average beginner. I don't know when she started playing. When was she first famous? Did she play guitar then? If she's been playing like for 15, 20 years since she was started out, then I'd have expected more from her. She's not a beginner, but you know what? I wouldn't even say she was intermediate. <laughs> she's kind of on that border. Some of what she does, so some of, some of the picking was okay. Some of the patterns, but I really would need to hear her play. Can she play scales? Can she play sweet picking? Can she play solos? Uh, can she play other rhythms? Can she transpose? Can she modulate? Can she borrow chords? I don't know. There's a lot of when I see her play, there's a lot of the same simple chords. And by that, I mean sort of open chords of G, D, A, F, C, which are the first chords you all learn. So sorry to slag her off. She's better than me, but the eighth best guitarist of the last 20 years. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe not, but maybe she picks those chords for efficiency. Maybe she picks them because they're pretty. Maybe we've all got something to learn from Taylor's playing. Hello and welcome to Trash Guitar Tips with me, Darren White. Today's tip comes from a lesser known female singer-songwriter who goes by the name of 
Taylor Swift. I've noticed that when she strums, she doesn't move her ring and her pinky finger. She just leaves them there in a lazy sort of way, which means that she plays something like C, G, a sort of weird D that misses a note. And she must be lifting for this one, an E. But she does it all without moving her pinky and her ring finger, which if you just pitch strum the whole thing, can't really be the chord. There's probably some weird diminished things in there. I don't know, does this help? Is this a good tip? If it's not, take it up with Taylor Swift, not me. Bye now. Seems as good a place as any to stop. Hmm. So, Taylor Sp Start again. I'm having horrendous hair day. My hair, last time I got it cut, it left the fringe too long. No matter what I said, he wouldn't cut it short. And look what I've ended up with. I look like that bloody scene from this something about Mary. I'm tempted to cut the bloody thing myself. I'll take it back and say, look, Look at what you guys did. Anyway, that's my rant mode. Let's get this over with. Oh, let's keep my head sticking out the top. Don't think that'll go in the video. <laughs> Don't think that'll make it. So, Taylor Swift has been really popular this summer. Fucking train, let's start again. Let's wait for it to go. Oh, it's a long one, it's taking forever. I just had to play something after playing all those rubbishy bits. Seems as good a place as any to stop.